fighting out of Sacramento, California, former two-time lightweight champion of the world, Stevie. His financiano, a natural, 45 punches around. Look, Jabin, don't make Joel Casamayor, world 130-pound titleist, one of the most skilled southpaws in the sport. And Lascano knocks Stevie down. Surprised and a little off balance, but it was a legitimate knockdown, and Lascano is going after him. And Johnston starts to wrap up aggression as Lascano. When you're fighting a see what you did originally and get him down again rather than career i don't know the number but i don't not very many times for sure and uh, right hand that way to oh you know look he's was, was kind of he looked like a ball you know unofficially they are always one pound more than johnston now this kind of goes to the body very good work in that moment in the biggest fight of his career and it but he landed 13 all power shots, including your face. Harder to do that, of course, when you're behind. And now, as Larry pointed out, Stevie Johnston is two points behind after one round. Johnston's corner told him to jab more and move your head. Good hard you left punches keep moving. So far, he's tried to. Lascano trying to double the left hook, now hits Johnston with a hard right-hand body shot. Lascano hitting Johnston below the belt there, referee Kenny Bayless warns him to keep it up. Lascano again, right hand. Johnston being hurt to count hurt. now. He got hurt that time. Lascano is hurt by the counter right hand that Stevie landed. Johnston has allowed him to recover. Good left hook to the body by Lascano. He's doing the right stuff. Find punching angles. Not going to stop Lascano from trying to unload down there right there where Stevie is written. Not below that time. He even went under the name. And now Stevie Johnston decks Lascano with a left hand. Hey, we're off to a pretty good start here tonight. Five. Okay. Come to me. Conversation with Bayless about low blows. Lascano's worst fear in this fight was that Johnson would try to box and stay away from him. But by knocking Johnson down in the first round, suddenly Johnson now thinks he's got to fight him, and we've got to fight on our hands. Fighters mix after tactical footing. You may have noticed that the man's trainer, when I asked him yesterday if his uncle was still his trainer, he said yes. But for whatever reason, Uncle Chris is not in the corner tonight. The man talking to Stevie Johnston is George Durbin. There's another good hard straight left hand by Stevie Johnston. And there's a good left hook by Lascano. And Lascano seemed to realize a moment too late that he might have buzzed Stevie with that left hook. And now here comes... Lascano following him and following him. Not easy to do when you consider <laughs> Alejandro Gonzalez, Jose Luis Castillo twice, Cesar Bazan twice, Jean Baptiste Mendy. Oh, an hour and 45 minutes or so prior to the moment he's expected to begin with Stevie Johnston. Was a three from Copia Box, Lascano 142. Uh, just about equal, Lascano through three. <laughs> okay, Jim, two rounds to one, 28. 27, little but bad, Stevie Johnson. I gotta tell you, first of all, Stevie Johnson's winning this fight because that's what he landed to clean the hard shots with the left hand. But one of those guys got the way with a zillion low blows. I mean, it's atrocious. He scored so many low blows. Jim, notice that one of those guys was bothered by Stevie Johnson's left handed style. Very often sticks out his left hand and measures him. In other words, trying to keep him uh, steady so he can hit him with a right. Lascano landed a couple of pretty good with a flurry. As in those kinds of flurries can be in influenced judges that if you don't let the other guy dominate you and come back at him. Lascano is connecting with combinations in front, in front, in front, now. Left, right, right, left. Throwing many more punches than is normally his custom. Lascano seems to want to step up his aggression in the fight, perhaps thinking that... He's being thrown in. 
Johnston is receiving more than anyone. Johnston went. Lascano seemed to surprise Stevie Johnston in the first minute or so of the round with his sudden burst of right hand punching. You can almost see Lascano now trying to aim his body punches to avoid the low blow problem. Point being taken. This fight could be won or lost on a point. Stevie Johnston with a straight left hand upstairs. Johnston to the body, but with nowhere near the authority he was attempting in the first couple of rounds. Of following his corner's instructions and not to throw uppercuts and just to throw straight punches to the body. These guys are fighting. If you hit me, I'll hit you back. If this was a main event, the place would be in an uproar. 166 total. Correct me on that. Correct me on that. his time now. Picking with his jab. Keep. Ooh, left hook. Escano's getting his range of favor. That's a real close fight. It matters. That the 89 punches. Come back with the hook. The jab is good. Lascano led with a right. Here's a terrific uppercut right on the chin. Let's take a look ahead to his nephew tonight. Brown. They want to do is wait. They want lead right hand by Lascano that time. That was great. And made himself a little bit more elusive. The straight right hand and the body shots that served him well early. His offense. He left out his offense, though. I've been good defensively minded, and he didn't land a lot of shots. That Lascano is punching with power, and he keeps coming forward. Johnson bouncing and looking for chances to land the right hand. With this right. Continuing to try to jab against the southpaw. Lascano creates opportunities for Stevie to score. That's right. You got to lead. If you lead two right hands, you can come back with the left afterwards with a jab. This hand has Johnston against the ropes. Right hand to the body for Lascano. Left hand to the body for Johnson. They trade body flurries. It's a very Mexican, Mexican-American. We recognize the fact that Juan Lascano is the stronger puncher. Effective aggressiveness is when you come forward and you land punches. Juan Lascano wins the rounds where he comes forward, he's the aggressor, and he lands like he's doing right here. But when he comes forward and he doesn't land and Stevie Johnson just captures him, Johnson wins those rounds. Right now, let's name of the belt, and he's not that before the fight. Yeah, I like it. He's not panicking when they go to that belt. After all, the protector is right under the belt line. You're not getting hit without protection from the cup at that point. Uh, of course, this has become an issue in the main event, uh, where the Mosley camp has said that Delahoya's belt rides above uh, the truck. This is a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. Is it, but is it in Stevie Johnson's interest to be in a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight against a guy so strong? He's got no choice. This guy's bringing it to him at every moment. You stop for a break and he jumps on you. So Lascano is bringing it to him. He so far, but we're only in the seventh of a scheduled 12. left hook to go with all those right hands. Now Stevie Johnson with a quick little right hook counter of his own. 
Johnston flipping to the body and Lascano trying to... He's not going to panic. 38 fights for Johnston. 35 wins, 17 KO for Oscar. Stales, you offense and you got him. That's for his hands so you can get a good shot. Round eight of a close fight. Juan Lascano knocks TD John out. Juan Lascano has been warned twice for low blows. That came in the second round as well. He was told that a point would be deducted the next time around. It hasn't happened yet. Lascano now strafing Johnston with right hands. And his after throwing 89 punches a couple of rounds ago, his highest punch output ever, Lascano threw 84 punches in round seven. So Johnston is getting to fight at the fast pace that he expected to want to fight at. It's just that Lascano is staying with him and in a lot of cases, bettering him. And I think all of the body did most in this fight. That's right, the body and the, the body. Brief period of time now, George. We're going to work without uh, the benefit of Larry's company as he leaves our announce table to go back to the dressing rooms and seek interviews with both Oscar Deloy and Shane Mosley. Meanwhile, Juan Lascano is mounting up another one of those heavy bag attacks in the corner against Johnston, and Stevie's trying to trade punch his way out of Camp to a previous opponent, former lightweight world titleist Cesar Bazan of Mexico, who like. I told these guys, no matter if he's won the guy, he didn't go below. I'm going to keep it straight. He didn't having to penalize him, and that's good referee. That's good. Ah! having a hard time reaching him now, Johnson. Durbin, who said, you know, if you stand the eighth round or ninth round. When you're a point or two behind one opponent. Sometimes your corner got to understand that and say, okay, son, you did good. Give him. <laughs> Left. Landed. This fellow steps in with it. He doesn't miss when he jumps it in. Instinctively, he knows that right hand is coming. You better not stay that long. Round 10, and you heard the instructions in Stevie Johnston's corner. You got to do something pretty spectacular in these next two rounds. They see the same things that George and I have been seeing. Lascano seemingly gradually taking command with hard shots in the middle round. Harold, how do you have it through now? <laughs> I'm kitchen. I see it the same way. 86, 83. Four card. You can give us the rest of it, Harold. After round nine, 86, 83. Six rounds to three. Juan Lascano. Chip up gave him four rounds in a row. Stevie Johnson basically backing up, just flicking out right jabs. Juan Lascano just winning this at size and power. He's too strong. His punches are too hard. Indeed, even before the low blow warning in this round, Lascano had Johnston back on his heels again with a series of hard right hand shots. Now, he's done the best he could do with the body anyway. He may as well abandon that attack, Lascano, and stick, keep it up here in, for the chest, the shoulder. Him a difficult plan, throwing 80 punches around, not something he's accustomed to doing at all. It would be a shame for Lascano to see all this go south on the basis of a disqualification for low blows. But he could be two low blows away from that. So he's staying upstairs, as you see there, and peppering Johnson with right hands inside. There's another punch right on the belt line. Dangerous, but Lascano got away with it. Good Hard combination right by Lascano now. He's got range. He's got range for the shots up. And at this point, it doesn't appear Stevie Johnston hits hard enough for something unexpected. Yeah, so it's not like down, so you could hit him with the big shots. And held right. Well, this is tough on Johnston because after the low blow point deduction, Johnston had a chance, if he could win that round, to gain back two points all at once. But now he loses that chance as Lascano knocks him down. in that round by Juan Lascano. There's the low blow, George, 
And you can see it. That one was just a tight throwing punches. I can't hit you in the body. Um, they've disallowed me to do that, so I'm coming upstairs. And he caught him with the left hook and the straight right. The ninth punch of the round was the one that stopped Johnston in that last round. So for the first time in his career, Juan Lascano threw 100 punches in a round. Look at the combinations. Look at Both fighters are tired on his ankles, or his gloves on his ankles, seemingly winded. When you're able to throw combinations like that in the 11th round, that means you paid your dues in the gym. Johnston gets in a straight line, but again, not enough power for Stevie at this point to hurt Lascano with a single punch. Ah, you saw Lascano pull that first body punch. He threw the second one and then came back. Comes. All ever looking for a way out. That's a hard right hand. Stevie Johnston's going to have trouble finishing this fight if Juan Lascano can keep it. Oh, Don't throw a single GD body punch. Oh, he's painting Stevie with right hands. And Kenny Bayless has a decision on his hands. A decision for Bayless. Stevie Johnston throws a couple punches. Goes down again. leans in and he's not going to let Stevie take anymore. Corner onto the apron and said, Kenny, stop it now. <laughs> Good mercy there. First time Stevie Johnston has ever been stopped in his career. What a big win for Lascano. Lascano accuracy. Look, everything is right where it's supposed to be. On top, back, and then he's dead. George, can you believe throughout his career this is a guy who's averaged number one rank is where the margin of